So Nardwar, who are you? I am Nardwar the Human Serviette, a 29-year-old kid from West Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. What were you hoping to get out of Mr. Gorbachev other than exasperation, bafflement, and a general surreal sense of having been displaced? I think it was exactly all of those. But I really wanted to know about the Russian. Yes, I guess the second question was kind of throwaway. The first one was the, the Russian question was the main question. We, me and my friend Lloyd were sitting at a pizza place five minutes before thinking what we could ask and we just throw that out there. I kind of regret oh. doing that because afterwards security guards came up to me and said, we're never going to let you into another press conference again. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> because a couple weeks later I got into the Clinton Yeltsin summit but I regret asking that question at Gorbachev because they kicked me out of the Clinton Yeltsin summit because they believed I would be causing a massive disturbance if mm. I was able to ask Clinton a question. A massive disturbance. However, what? a little what? couple weeks back I was able to get into the APEC summit that happened in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Actually it was in November and I was able to ask John Crechan a question. Yes, and what I, did you ask him? I said, Mr. Crechan, there's a band out there right now called the Nomads, a joke. I, just made, I learned to make up fake things. There's a band out there called the Nomads Nomads that has a song out there right now, there's a punk band called the Suharto Stomp. <laughs> Do you think, Mr. Kretchan, if you were 40 years younger, that you two would be writing punk songs and protesting against APAC? What do you say? Some of the protesters were maced. Does mace equal freedom? Would you, would you have been maced yourself back then, Prime Minister Kretchan? But, but I don't know what you mean by that. I felt like saying, you're the Prime Minister of Canada and you don't know what mace is? A uh, mace? Pepper spray, some other members. Oh, but of I don't know. This technique did not exist in those days. <laughs> For me, pepper, I put it on my plate. And right then and there, I said, oh my God, I can't believe what he said. And I thought I was going to get in big trouble like I did at Gorbachev. It ended up that like every news agency, including the CBC, etc., ended up using that clip. And when he was asked about the pepper spray, Gretchen moved on. For me, Pepper, I put it on my plate. <laughs> all these people, all these members of the media that hated me before for asking this Gorbachev thing were now using a sound clip I took. So I guess um, I beat them. I beat them. <laughs> um, so do you think you're a punk? I would like to say I kind of give a punk rock attack. The yeah. intensity you can do on stage, I think, should be carried over to the interview field. Just try as much as you can, accumulate as much knowledge. But yes, it was great to have something that you do actually last for a couple of weeks and be of a serious nature. Right. But I guess that you're avoiding my question, you know, when I ask you if there's a serious underpinning to the, to the, the, the Looney Tunes, you know, the number you've got going there. Do you, have, do you lie in bed at night sort of actually with serious ambitions of world domination or world inquiry? That's a very hard question, Daniel Wieschler of CBC Big Life. I would say, yes, the APEC thing, it was not, it'd be nice to make a mark on the world. It would be nice to be able to expose people and to be able to also give exposure to people that haven't had stuff before. So there is kind of a serious nature in that. I would love to give recognition, help give recognition to people 